Previously on Do or Dice. What unholy abomination are you trying to create? I don't really know. I made some lightning. With what? With bits of my blood and some jerry. I'm gonna run to Dagger really quick and just kind of inform him of the situation. Let him know, like, you know, what they want as far as gear mail, what they can do, and what we're willing to do. We help them. They owe us. If they leave town, we put head on the heads. Well, gladly. (laughs) So, the sewers, would that be a job that we could get paid for? (laughs) <laughs> so, uh, as as a courtesy, we normally wash the clothes when people bathe. Um, I'm sorry to say that there was not much left of your clothes. Let's go buy some clothes. Okay, fantastic. You deal your backpack? Yeah. Sweet. There was a time... It's getting to be a little bit around dusk once you guys actually enter in the crowds as a whole. And the whole kind of atmosphere changes. Ordok, this seems somewhat familiar to you. Not not completely. Like, things have changed over what has almost been a decade. But little, little like, streets here and there kind of getting little flashes of you running up and down alleyways as a kid. As you guys kind of go around a corner, you see a surprisingly well-lit building with a big sign outside which just says, The Lush. And there are probably about two large, I'd say one's probably a Goliath and the other is probably a little more orc than half orc, but he still has a few human features on him, are just almost acting as bouncers outside of this Does the establishment. Goliath have arms? <laughs> yes, he does. He does. Right, okay, just too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> That's never too soon. This was like a month ago, man. <laughs> Two months. You guys going inside? Yep. yep. Yeah. I assume we have to do the the song and dance of oh, oh no, so. the hands. This is just a these guys. Yeah, club. this is just a yeah. Bravo. Oh, it's a, it's a little higher class and a strip club. Oh. This isn't Hank. This is a gentleman's no, club. No, no, this, this is underneath underneath the uh, the game Toy shop. storefront. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you guys enter and. It is pretty well packed in here. You see serving girls going up and down the aisles, a few serving guys off on another side. You're hoping serving... You're not quite sure what some of these people are. And the establishment, everyone, the place is hopping. There's looks like a tiefling band up at one one of the stages. This place is probably about four stories tall. And each floor kind of has a little balcony overlooking. So the balcony gets smaller and smaller the more you go up in stories. So it's just massive. Imagine like if you've ever been on a cruise ship and you're in the main area. It's kind of like that. You can kind of see all the different levels, people hanging off, looking at the stage. It's crazy in here. Do I recognize like what this is? Is it obvious that this is a brothel? Uh, I wouldn't say right off the bat. Okay. But uh, roll me a perception check. Uh, that is a three. <laughs> <laughs> no. As far as you're concerned, this is like a very nice tavern with some entertainment. So this is I mean, probably they have for a hell of a bard. <laughs> I'm, I'm distracted by the streets we're walking through. <laughs> 
And then a chick comes out with her titty tassels. <laughs> <laughs> with a name like Lush, it is only going to be a gay bar <laughs> or a strip club. <laughs> or it's both. A, yeah, I was going to say, it's actually yeah. a little bit of both, I would think. Yeah, it's a little bit of both. What are the servers wearing? Um, a few of them are wearing just, you know, imagine Oktoberfest a little bit, but a little skankier. I'm into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my jam. Um, As we're walking through, I just kind of like, you know, like, oh, hey, you know, Destiny, what's up, Cinnamon? <laughs> like, you know, because we're here all the time, and like, Helen is like, uh, you can say a partaker, a partaker of the product they sell. And, uh, you know, like, oh, hey, give me a cigar and meet me over at my table. And we'll kind of walk to uh, Helen and Jensen's table. So after a, a little bit, you guys, uh, there's a few kind of tables kind of screwing about, and you guys kind of go to what is yours. And you'll be approached by a server you have not seen before. Now, is, is your table kind of out in the open, or would it be like a, a booth side table? Yeah, like a booth, like corner kind of side table like mm -hmm. i i figured they probably reserve a few for the syndicate members yeah yeah so we kind of like kind of like in the back of the first floor like kind of maybe off to the side of the band you know in the corner now uh, uh, approaching you to to your table is well first off who's sitting where this is pretty much a rectangular table we probably fit four people on each side. Back against the wall, whichever side that is. <laughs> uh, I'll say, I guess, the leftmost side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess kind of uh, to where I have a vantage point of, like, kind of the, the stripper side of the block. <laughs> <laughs> the, the entertainment section. Yes, yeah, yeah. The, uh, okay, the entertainment section. <laughs> uh, just for ease of role-playing, I'm going to have my back to that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I figured as much. I figured that you'd be looking more towards the door right, kind of yeah, area. That makes sense. Yeah. I just like to make sense that he totally hasn't noticed yet. Like, he's <laughs> distracted and he just happens to sit down with his back to it. And Helen's like staring over shoulder. He's like, what's going on? Yeah, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Is this Bo's first time in a strip club? Oh, Have yeah, you ever fuck. seen anybody naked before? I don't think so. Um, I think Bo's just standing at the end of the table, hasn't sat down yet. He's just kind of shuffling around on his feet feeling really uncomfortable this is a brothel not a strip club it's like moulin rouge there's no actual strippers <laughs> yeah no this is the moulin rouge yeah <laughs> uh hey do you, do do i need to get you a, a high chair or something do you want to take a seat there pal um no i'm i'm, I'm okay thank you i'm just gonna stand here all right if this sure. is like the moulin rouge does that mean we can be like artistes we can stand yeah. around we can be all like sure <laughs> Smoke your cigarettes yeah. on those long Super. stemmed things. Yeah. <laughs> um, after a little bit, uh, a, a serving girl that neither Helen nor Jensen recognize is going to come up. And what kind of strikes you the most about this woman is she has a deep blue skin. Hair kind of has like a greenish quality to it. And she's going to look you all over. Gentlemen, uh, can I get you anything to to drink to start? I'll just put my hand up and say something strong. Two of oh. those. I'm sorry, three. Hey. One for him, two for me. <laughs> as, you, as you say that, she's going to look over at you and just kind of wink. Kind of bashful. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Because uh, you are wearing your new robes. I am wearing my fancy mm -hmm. new robes. I look good. And she's going to look over at Helen and Jensen. Drinks, gentlemen? Yes, we have repair tab. <laughs> oh, no. You probably <laughs> forgot. <laughs> you guys never pay your tab. What's the bartender's name again? But then what did we do with the money we made from the heist? <laughs> we haven't been back to Lush to no, pay. No, you haven't. This is a f so we um, do have the money. <laughs> I just haven't paid. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name again? I don't like this new girl. I'm not paying her. <laughs> oh, Frederick? Frederick? Yeah. What was it, Fred? Just, uh, just tell Frederick that Jensen and Helen are here. He'll know what to get us. All right. And she's uh, she's finally going to pay attention to Bo. Like, oh, um, 
kind of goes to come look over at Ordok. We, we, we don't allow children in here. I'm just going to look up a little confused. I mean, like, what? Oh, he's he's fine. I think he's actually older than I am. By a lot. <laughs> oh, um, sir, would you like anything to drink? I'm going to just flash my little cat's claw a little bit and say... <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Would you like something to drink? Hey, hey, we, hey it, you know, get the little take some milk or something. <laughs> like, run, fucking Jack the Ripper into a strip club. Great. <laughs> right when when Bo goes goes a little rogue. <laughs> hey, hey, pal, you need to be chilling in here. All right, you can't go fucking up with the 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 waitresses. <laughs> okay. You better tell her I'm not a child then. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm, I'm still new to this establishment. That's okay. It's, uh, my first night, and she's kind of just gonna smile a little bit and flounce. Get get yourself <laughs> a drink on me, all right? Uh, thank you, sir. And she's gonna turn and walk away. I haven't got any money, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Usually, neither do we. <laughs> this whole time, I'm gonna be kind of. We're, we were supposed to meet Dagger here, right? Or was he meeting us? I can't honestly remember. Oh, you're asking me. I thought you were asking Jensen. Oh. Um, he said that he would meet you at Lush. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm gonna be kind of watching around our usual tables or his usual table, and just kind of be waiting for him as well, just in case he walks in. I will Just also be watching. <laughs> I'm going to be practicing to see if I can sense him before I see him. Um, up at the, the stage is uh, a tiefling band had just kind of finished. And now kind of like the, the main guy from that band is going to stay as the rest are going to kind of walk off and take a little break. And he's just going to pull out this, this fiddle and he's just going to start rocking on it. And you can see there's a kind of, he's got like a little group of uh, groupies up front. These couple, probably six or seven women are just going to start going crazy. And you might see uh, a few things fly up on stage. One of them being a pair of boxers, which just seems a little interesting. Uh, <laughs> Good for him. After about five or so minutes, um, the waitress is going to come back and just set down uh, a drink in front of Ordok two drinks in front of Goshen, and then a dagger in front of Jensen and Helen. <laughs> Frederick said you'd know what this meant. Yeah. Um, apparently you have company upstairs? All right, thank you. Well, um, you know what? Just, uh, I kind of, like, pull out, like, uh, like two gold and uh, just kind of slide it to her. It's like, that's all we need. Thanks. All right, gentlemen. And she's going to kind of look at Bo and just wink and kind of ruffle his hair and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I like how no one in this world has ever experienced well, a halfling. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how no one's ever wondered is... why. <laughs> the, the bartender's a gnome... And so he's like a little short dude too. Yep. So you think like, and I mean, he's sh they're shorter than halflings. Yeah, but Bo also looks like a you know a, dead a translucent <laughs> skin monster. Yeah, the weird. It's really weird that everybody assumes he's a child. It's very <laughs> scary. Bow eyes and and like translucent yeah. skin. Did she put down a single dagger or two daggers, John? A single dagger. Well, that's mine uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Grab your drinks, them. boys. We're gonna we're gonna head upstairs. We'll get up and kind of make make for the stairs. Head up to where Dagger is. To the people of Agmanesta, hear me. 
I have been advised by the Holy Order of Thom that new adventuring gear is available to all who may be in need. Wormwood Gaming, founded by a small troop of artisans, has released a series of gaming towers, trays, vaults, and other accessories to ensure that your rolls stay true and any equipment secure from Fae or any other dark influences that stalk the night. If you decide to take up the cause, use the code Do or Dice at checkout to gain free shipping anywhere within the United States. Hey guys, it's John, your friendly neighborhood dungeon master. I just want to take a moment real quick and talk to you guys about Fantasy Grounds. They are a fantastic program you can use in your computer to game with those friends you have that might not be as close as you prefer. If you and your friends can't sit around a table together, Fancy Grands is by far the best alternative to it. The day a module for Dungeons & Dragons drops in your friendly local gaming store, it drops on Fancy Grounds. And the ease to add your own content is a breeze. Thanks for listening, guys. Now back to the show. Now, there's a circular staircase both at the front and back of Lush. And as you're kind of going up the circular staircase, you just... You guys know that Dagger pretty much likes to stay on the third floor. Gives him a nice vantage point. He doesn't intrude upon the fourth floor because that is the domain of Madam who kind of runs this establishment. So, and, and giving her some respect, you know, he kind of stays to the third and leaves it that way because she takes care of other business on the fourth floor. You see, the, the, the booths here are fewer and there's a good deal of space between them. And a lot of them have uh, thick walls between them and curtains kind of covering them to give a, a little bit more privacy if needed. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> but you notice, like, kind of at, at the very back, almost directly over where the door was on the first level, is a nice, it's one single booth with nothing on either side of it. And you'll see that there are another two large men. Both of these seem to be humans. And they're just going to look at look at you guys, kind of give a halting stop motion, and just peek their head inside the curtain. You can kind of just hear a little bit of words being spoken. And then they're going to nod, open the curtain, and walk probably about 20 feet in either direction. Kind of giving you the, the motion to go on in. Gentlemen, nice to see you again. Dagger. And these are um, these are the friends I was talking about. Dagger's gonna stand up. He's got this beautiful, almost like a black silk suit on, and he's got this top hat kind of just tilted to the side, kind of just off his head enough. He's gonna drop it, do an eloquent bow, and then come up and shake each of your hands. Pleasure, pleasure. I am Dagger. A pleasure to meet you. A bow in return. Ocean. Uh, I'll just shake his hand and say, Ordok, nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. Oh, Adoro. It has been probably three decades since I came across your your kind before. It's a pleasure, sir. H Hello, Dagger. I'm, I'm, I'm called Bo. If you gentlemen would uh, sit down, we can discuss some business. You see, this is a, a large circular table. And he just kind of he's going to walk across the seats to the back center and just sit down. And as you guys kind of file in, he's just going to snap his fingers and the curtains are going to close. I hear you're looking for help for a friend. Uh, yes, the, the quicker we could get some sort of assistance, the better. He, uh... He lost his arms in battle. And we've heard that there's... Some sort of new... Uh, I'm not really sure. Some sort of new thing that might be able to help him. Uh, yes, uh, Guillermo. It is... proprietary for the Grey Cloaks and the Winged Shield, but... we all have our sources. We can make an arrangement. You three help some jobs around here? And... Uh, the king, um, Akros, has pledged to assist. Very gracious for the opportunity. Anything to, to picture the good people of the crowds or Ironclad in general. 
I'm glad to hear that, yes. There are a few things. Has Helen mentioned the sewers to you yet? Uh, yes, it, that sounds like something. Something that obviously is, is happening down there. We, we can see to that. That's no problem. What is a sewer? Oh, um, of course. Uh, let's just say it's a place where some things go to die. Oh, okay. Now, there are a few conditions to our help. I can just go over them briefly if you if you prefer, or we can go into more detail. But primarily, first things first. I noticed and was informed that uh, your foot was lost in a battle. Uh, yes, it, it was. Now there's... Let's just say that is something we need to take a look at first. There's not much you can do for us with that kind of disadvantage. I'm gonna like stiffen up uh, and sit a little bit more upright. Disadvantage, please. N no offense. <laughs> you clap when you walk. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, uh, like react a little bit and I'm like, what? <laughs> he doesn't mean it if he means you're loud. If oh. there is anything in the sewer, they'll hear you coming from a mile away. Echoes and whatnot. I think he's... I, I, I sort of, like, rolled it around in my head for a minute and be like, all oh, right, I, I'm sorry, I've been away from city life for some time. I'm I'm not used to an enclosed area anymore. That that you're right, I'm sorry. No, no, no. No offense needed. No no, no offense, no. And he's kinda of just gonna snap his fingers again, and the same woman from downstairs is gonna come and just deliver another set of drinks. Um, this time there's no dagger for Helen and Jensen, but she's actually going to lay down a a small glass in front of each of you. I would like to use my tail to try to slide a hand or Doc's drink away from me. She only oh, no, no, no. She, she did give you two. seems engaged. Okay. <laughs> I want to do it. I want three. Um, go ahead and... Uh, yeah, give me a slide of hand. And we'll, we'll see what happens real quick. Okay. Yeah, no. He, three plus six. It's nine. very obvious that your tail is up on the table. I'm just going to clear my throat. <clears> throat> Goshen. Tail slowly recedes <laughs> from the table. Now, as this whole thing is going down, this woman is you know, finishing putting drinks out, and she's watching this whole interchange, and she's going to actually not so much but stare at Goshen. You can just see the side of her mouth is going to go up in a little shy smile. That sounds like monkey sex. <laughs> <laughs> the only Ooh. Ooh. That's a dick joke, folks. <laughs> only took us 26 minutes and 5 seconds. Hey. It's probably Thank a record. You, That's well, uh, I'll, I'll... Thank you, Bridget. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll send for you if we need anything. Uh, yes, sir. And she'll go off. Now, this is how we can go about things. We can fix your foot first. Can I also explain how this whole gear mail thing works? You do the sewer job. The sewer job will will say will go ahead and cover the cost of fixing your foot. Might need one or two other jobs here and there, depending on exactly what happens in the sewers. But does that seem fair to you? It does, but we also need to arrange transportation as soon as possible for our friend. Uh, he is in the care of uh, a small town, and I'm concerned that they do not have the proper resources to make sure that he's okay. Completely understandable. Uh, Miss Wraith from... Rune, um, East Runewood has informed me of his situation. We can procure a cart to procure your friend. 
We come down here, put him in one of our establishments for care, and once he is well enough, we can perform the procedure on him as well. Yes, that, that sounds much agreeable. Now, that uh, two appendages, it's, it's that and care and you know physical therapy, uh, uh, to be blunt, it is pricey. Would this be you compensating, or and he's going to look at both Goshen and Bo as well, or a party endeavor? I am happy to use what I earn for you towards his care. Now we won't take everything from you. We, uh, it will be a percentage, so that you can, of course, live. We have some safe houses. We can perhaps get you a room at one of our inns. For discounted prices, room and board, you know, basic, basic stuff. And make sure that you can still, you know, live and just do jobs for us on occasion. Is, uh, just kind of out of game, is the syndicate gonna do, like, a, a size up charge, like, for his arms, since he's a Goliath? Oh, um, <laughs> not on paper. <laughs> 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 it's like you know when you huh? normal size arms are this much, but when you need he's just gonna arms, have tiny like, arms, <laughs> little T Rex <laughs> human arms, get some of the halfling arms. Let's just say you know how the syndicate works. They're gonna try and milk this as far as they can. So little things might come up here and there that they'll need extra moolah for. Um, Dagger's gonna look over at Bo and. Um, are you uh, also willing to assist your friend in the same manner? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't really need anything, to be honest. Excellent, excellent. Um, I just... Uh, I quite like the sound of these sewers anyway. To be honest, I'd pay you to go there. <laughs> we will come back to that possibility. <laughs> he's joking. <laughs> You can see his face is going to drop down a little bit, but a smile is going to cross. <laughs> now, just for legalities, to make sure we're all on, on board, um, I have some papers, if you three would be willing to sign them. It kind of goes over, um, the sewer job will be as payment for your foot, and then a series of jobs, depending on the actual extent of your friend's injuries. Sorry for being so bold, but uh, what is your friend? Goliath. Oh, um, one moment. He's going to flip through a couple of pages, bring out a, a quill, and just quickly bite the end of it and just start crossing a few things out and writing a few things. Uh, understandably, I'm sure you can, you know, grasp the seriousness of this. Um, that will be a slight increase because of, you know, human Goliath. That's, uh,. I mean, we could give him human's arms if that would be easier. That, do that, would, be, that would be good. Do that. Yeah. Oh, yes, do that. I mean, we could even give him four arms if that would be preferable. God, please! <laughs> I want to be Goro. Can huh? you give me some new arms? Um, we can discuss that after this contract, yes. Yeah, I would, li I would like, like to seriously, though, that. Seriously, though, out of game, guys? <laughs> we can swing it. Sign the... <laughs> Sign that contract for four arms. Let's do the, uh, uh, what's the Star Wars guy? His arms just like split oh, into four. Grievous. Oh, General, General Grievous. Grievous? Yeah, Grievous. Oh, that would be super cool, John. <laughs> Can I get Grievous arms? <laughs> just like quad wheeling swords. <laughs> please. Horrifying. Pretty please. It depends on how much money they're willing to pay or how much. In... I will pay you in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Can I oh, that's a whole other contract we got to like, sign. Um... The guy from Spider-Man. What's his name? Doc Ock. With the... Yeah. Doc Ock. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. To some degree. Yeah. <laughs> Anything is possible with magic and gear mail. <laughs> While we're but, um, picking up charges, is there any way we could insert something into the arms to say, I don't know, deliver a, a mild electrical shock anytime he tries to hug someone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? For hilarity's sake... I'd pay for that one myself. Awesome. I would like that to be in there, please. Uh, pretty please. 
Hey, yeah, and he'll go through and he'll write that in. Um, yeah. uh, that's kind of a bit uh, magical up charge. You, you know, it's uh, runic based, but the finer dwarf. Yeah, you, Worth details. It. Uh, once everything is performed, we will go over it. But um, as of right now, from what I know of, he's kind of gonna look, Mister Telmi, Telmo, Telmo, Telmo. Yes, Mister Mamber. condition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that explains the last name. I thought it was. I don't honestly know what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot more. His condition. Um, Stagger not moderate. The help from <laughs> the nursing care, along with um, the arms, the um, shocking feature, and we can. Once the initial procedure is done, upgrades and additions can be added at, you know, a charge not as much, but, you, you know, a, a charge can be done to say you, you want to swap out an arm for a weapon. That can that can all be done down the line. But it, looking like, um, depending on the size of the job, it could take a number of months, perhaps 30 or 40 jobs for us. But it would guarantee his care completely. We would not end his care unless you left our service. And does it seem satisfactory? Seems like about ten years. <laughs> <laughs> In our time, that may, may. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a long time before Tom is playable again. <laughs> oh, there'll be downtime here and there. You know, things happen. <laughs> I'm gonna say it seems reasonable. Doing work to bring justice to these good folk of ironclad and help a friend it's it's fine fantastic now if you will be so kind um he's gonna kind of take out the last page of probably about maybe half an inch of documents and kind of slide out across the table with the quill and you'll notice that he's gonna put three little short kind of round discs in front of you at the center is a little, you can see it looks like a glass needle. If you would please prick your finger, uh, sign the document, it will all be above board. If I sign this, is this going to be like a club? Basically, yes. Right. <laughs> can Bo sign his name? No, I'm just going to like, um, <laughs> like, prick my palm and then just smear my hand all over the page but that works yeah I don't know how I feel about a blood contract is like, that maniacal mm, laughter and music the contract. Contract. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see the concern in your face let me assure you the blood is merely a standard procedure for our organization uh, mainly for tracking purposes if people leave contract before the payment is done then we track them down and figure out what has happened. This is us. You use blood magic? No, no. no. This is mainly for tracking. If we could use your hair if you'd prefer. I'm sure you, good Mr. Goshen, have uh, quite a bit of hair. You could, could probably just follow the trail, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just not blood magic specifically, but tracking magic. Hair, saliva, whatever you'd prefer. I'm just gonna reach up to my head and like pull a little trunk of a little clump of hair out and like hand that over. <laughs> he'll take it and put it in the little vial and kind of just put the cap on top. Same with bows, and he'll put a little inkwell out. Um, just then uh, sign your name regularly if you would. I would scrawl it across. And he'll look over at Goshen. What the hell? I bleed most of the time anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Stick my finger and put it on there. Now, your blood isn't quite red, no, is it? Not, not quite. It's got a little bit of a heat yeah. to it. So he'll, he'll take that, he'll put the cap on yours as well, and after you sign it, he'll take the contracts back. Fantastic. Um, Master Ordok, your surgery is first thing tomorrow morning. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look at the drink that I've been drinking and just be like, mm. I'm debating whether to set it down and just like, nope, then he shoots it. <laughs> now, 
on to other business, but we will get back to yours. Jensen, Helen, if you would sign this contract, please. I just kind of look at him like quizzically, like I thought we already signed. For the foreseeable future, you will be assisting these three in their endeavors within the organization. Does that make us like middle management then? Not quite. I, as I'm kind of just like chuckling, I, you know, prick my finger and like, you know, sign my name. Like, I figure it's standard procedure, just like, pfft, whatever. I work here anyway. <laughs> I guess we don't really have a choice. I make my mark. Yeah, because if we don't, we die, right? <laughs> that's, that's our deal. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. So he's going to take the contract back from you, look over it. Excellent. Sorry, before he pulled it away, I'm gonna ask Helen if you read it. What was I supposed to? Do? I didn't think I had a choice <laughs> with the whole, you know, deal with Arcos. I just wanted to know if we were getting paid anything. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> As he like starts to slide it away, I'm just gonna kind of slide it back. Like, I'm just gonna give this a little flip through. Does it say that we're getting paid? <laughs> you can look at you like, after? You, you, by all means? And you can kind of see it, it does not state anything about you guys losing any pay. You'll be paid your standard rates oh, okay. as any, you know, rook of your level would be. However, you do see a stipulation if these three leave under any circumstances the majority of what's left will come out of your hide first, and then them. Oh, son of a bitch. What's it, what's it say? You can't read? No, no. we've been over this. Oh, Je- oh yeah, Jensen can't read. That's right. Um, basically, if these guys fuck up, it's on us, and uh, we have to pay back their share and everything that they they signed for, so his leg... The other idiot's arms, all of it. So we need to make sure that these guys don't fuck up, because if not, that's all of our money for the next, you know, tag decade. Great. You understand from your conversation with the king the other night. All things considered, this is a damn good deal for you two. Oh, I'm not complaining. Just wanted to, just wanted to make sure. You know, old Jensen here can't read, so I just had to, I had to read it to him. Excellent. And he'll slide it back across the table to himself and kind of put all the papers in order. Was that in hushed tones, just for? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We kind of like slid us. <laughs> we're, no, we're sitting across the table. No, it's, it's, guys, it's, so it's a big talking. yeah daggers kind of between the two groups. As well, it if is. we had to, we would have kind of like stepped aside and looked at the contract. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, the stipulation for tomorrow morning, uh, Master Ordok, is if Helen has talked to his contact at the Arcane District. Yes. Excellent. I have not. I will, though. I will do that right now. We all will. How about that? That is up to you, but ideally, tomorrow morning or the day after, so that the sewers can be dealt with soon. Now, Master Ordok, this the what we're paying for for your footwise is just a basic model. If you would like any bells and whistles, as they say, um, we can discuss that at another point in date. Why would I want bells or whistles in my foot? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> it is a phrase. Uh, fancy that thing. took me a second, but um, you took that literally, which was gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. So you would like a fancier metal? Or say you would prefer uh, a runic magic embedded in it? Um, a lightning kick? Or a fire kick? You can see he's like, you can see, you can't see his legs. You can tell he's kind of doing kicks underneath the table. <laughs> you get a rocket kick to match your rocket hammer. I, I said that earlier. To <laughs> uh, uh, we, we can always renegotiate your contract. Uh, the quicker I can be back in my feet, as it were, the better. 
Excellent. I look genuinely disturbed at the fact that Warlock just made it. <laughs> it scares me mildly. Now, after the surgery, you will be transported to one of our medical facilities down in uh, down here in the crowds. Um, fantastic tiefling woman. Uh, she's a fantastic doctor for our organization. I should grew up in this area. So, mm. fantastic. But, if that is all, we can call it an evening. Any questions, gentlemen? I don't think so. Thanks, Dagger. Then, have a good night. I, I've and he'll got kind a of question. snap his fingers at yeah, yes, Master Bo. Can you get, like, gear mail for teeth? Wait, what? <laughs> I'd quite like sharper teeth. Maybe, like, for chewing. Oh, I, I, got, I got a guy that can file their teeth for you, if that's all you want. You don't need to put robot parts in your head. <laughs> well, I, I just I got a guy. thought I'd be quite nice to be able to chew through everything. Like bricks and doors and things. Wait, what? Did you say bricks? <laughs> yeah. We and maybe can... like wire cables, <laughs> and then get like a bowler hat with a rim on it. Yeah, yeah those are two different Bond villains, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can look into it for you, Master Bo, but uh, that will renegotiate the contract. But um. I possibly yes yes if you could see dollar signs in his eyes you'd see dollar signs in his <laughs> eyes I might have to think about that basically Bo wants it's... like vampire teeth but he doesn't know how to doesn't know what vampires are but he would quite like metal <laughs> vampire teeth <laughs> Jesus Christ uh Cool. I guess we should probably go talk to my dude, right? What's his nuts in uh, the Arcane District? Yes, what's his nuts in the Arcane District? What was it? Uh, Bulan Gross. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do something before we left. Yeah. I wanted to talk to Dagger by myself. Well, not by myself, but with the rest of the group. Like hang back. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got like bodyguards or something in there or something. Oh, they they they, they kind of walked a little bit away. So after everyone kind of gets up and starts walking out, uh, Dagger will look up at Jensen. Yes, Jensen. What does the king and the queen see in these fools? According to the queen, they took down a rather. Let me put it this way. You heard about the craziness in West Spring about three three weeks ago? How the town completely exploded? Yeah, heard some about it. They were at the center of it. They walked out alive when an entire cult vanished. And rumors has it that after the planes reopened from the light show we had two weeks ago, two and a half, that they were also at the center of that. The Queen is not entirely sure what they have done or what they can do, but there's enough uncertainty surrounding them that they have proved themselves to be worth investigating. That is one thing I hope you and Mr. Idris can do for me, for the king. Find out exactly who these three are. And make sure they make us a little bit of change on the side. Alright, I'll do that. Thanks for listening to this week's episode. You can keep up to date with everything that we're doing by following us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram at Do or Dice Podcast, or come have a chat in our Discord server. All of our show notes, character sheets, and player bios can be found on our website at doordicepodcast.com. 
If you're enjoying the episodes, please subscribe to the podcast. And if you have time, leave a review as it helps others like you find our show. Thanks for all the support, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Same dice time, same dice channel. There was a time...